So as you can see here, I was able to get in and boom, it is now fully unlocked. What's going on guys, Christian here and today I'll show you how to unlock your new iPhone 7. For this phone there are currently two types of unlocks and I'm going to show you how you can solve both of them. Alright, so first off we have the passcode unlock. This is in case you don't know the four digit security code of your phone and your phone is currently disabled so I'm going to show you how you can get back into your phone. And the second type is the network unlock. This means that your phone is currently locked to a specific carrier and you want to unlock it to use it with a different provider. I'll try to explain everything step by step in five minutes. All right, so without further ado, let's start. All right, so to perform a passcode unlock, there are two very important things that you need to consider before starting. The first one is that if your phone is locked to an iCloud account, you won't be able to unlock it. And the second one, all the information of this phone will be deleted unless you have a backup somewhere in your computer or in the iCloud or somewhere else. So the three things that you will need is your computer, a USB cable, and the latest version of iTunes installed in your computer. So I have included a link on the description of this video where you can download the latest version of iTunes. All right, so first step is to connect your iPhone to your computer and open iTunes. Okay, so now we have to enter recovery mode. So to enter recovery mode, simply press and hold the volume down key and the power button so after 10 seconds, you're gonna let go only of the power button. Now keep holding the volume down key until you get a message on iTunes confirming that your iPhone has entered successfully recovery mode. So as you can see here, I got the message on iTunes saying that my iPhone has been detected as recovery mode. Perfect, hit OK. And now you're gonna have to open iTunes and simply you're gonna click where it says restore iPhone. Now this may take a while because you have to download the latest iOS so it's gonna take around 40 minutes I think depending on your internet connection so you will see that your phone will start restoring and after the restore is complete you will be able to access your phone without any problem so as you can see here I was able to get in and boom it is now fully unlocked so now I will show you how to do a factory network unlock in my opinion this is the most valuable way to unlock your phone and once you have an unlocked phone you will be able to resell it at a higher price and your phone will be compatible worldwide with all carriers unfortunately unlocking a phone is not free but trust me guys for the last seven years i have unlocked every phone that i have owned and there's not a better feeling than having the freedom to switch between carriers but anyways i'll show you the way to unlock your phone and then you later decide if you want to unlock it or not so let's start the first thing we have to do is to disable find my iPhone. So simply go to settings, scroll down where it says iCloud and scroll all the way down where it says find my iPhone. Make sure it is completely off so uh, you can turn it back on once your iPhone has been unlocked successfully. All right, so then we have to get the IMEI number. Simply open your dial pad and type star hash zero six hash. So as you will see, your 15 digit IMEI number will appear. You can also find this number on the back part of the box of your phone or also in the SIM card tray. All right, so this is by far the most important part of the whole unlocking process. Now keep this number somewhere close as we will need it in a few seconds to unlock this phone. All right, so now we're gonna use the computer. All right, so grab your computer and go to the website unlockriver.com. Here, we're gonna request the unlock to unlock this phone. It's gonna be all done remotely. So we're gonna have to fill in all the information about the phone we're unlocking here. So I'm gonna select my original carrier. My phone is currently locked to United States AT&T. So make sure you select the original carrier. Perfect. Now select the brand and then the model. So we're gonna look for iPhone 7. This also works for 7 Plus as well. So we're gonna select 7. And then you have to enter here your IMEI number. This is very, very important. Make sure you enter it here 100% correct. If there's a mistake here, this method will not work. The last step is to enter your email where you want to be notified once your iPhone has been unlocked successfully. Now, if you scroll down, you will see the price to unlock your phone and the delivery time. This will always vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier, and model. And usually it's way faster than the delivery time that you get here. Okay, so we're gonna hit unlock. And on the next page, you will see a summary of your order. So just check everything here. There is information that you need to read before placing your order. But don't worry guys, everything is safe. There are no risks. Your warranty won't be voided. There is nothing wrong with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place my order and I'll be back once everything is completed. It's gonna take just a few seconds. So I'll be back. All right, so if you did everything correctly and your order was placed successfully, you will get this page saying that your order was placed and received successfully. And now you just have to wait until they send you your email saying that your iPhone has been unlocked. The waiting time may vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier, model. In this case, it's one to 15 business days, but usually it's very quick. So I'm gonna show you how the email will look like after you receive it. So we're gonna go to my personal email account and I'll show you how the email will look like when you get it. So I just got an email from Unlock River saying that my iPhone has been factory unlocked successfully. So once you get the email, just go ahead and open it 
and you will see that your iPhone has been factory unlocked successfully. Now there is one last thing that we have to do to complete this unlock. You will be required to activate the unlock. So there are two ways you can do this. One is connecting your phone to Wi-Fi or the other one is to use iTunes to connect your phone and activate the unlock. You can use any of these two methods, but I'm going to use iTunes just for this example. So simply get your USB cable connected to your computer to your iPhone. Go ahead and insert a non-supported SIM card. In my case, my phone is from AT&T, so I'm going to insert a SIM card from T-Mobile. It can be any other SIM card as long as it's different from the original carrier. So I'm going to insert my T-Mobile SIM card here and you're going to go ahead and run iTunes. So once you connected your computer, you will get the message on iTunes saying congratulations, your iPhone has been unlocked. Boom, there you go guys, your phone is now fully factory unlocked and now it's compatible worldwide with all carriers. You should get a full signal on your new carrier. And that's it guys, that's how we unlock an iPhone 7. That's all for today guys, if you have any questions just leave me a comment and I'll try to help you as soon as I can. By the way guys, we're also giving away a free iPhone 7, completely sealed, brand new phone. You can find the instructions on how to enter the giveaway in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, take care.